After a block-by-block -block search and help from strangers, a six-year-old boy in Newark who had been missing all morning is safe and back with his family. CBS 2's Nick Calloway with more on the massive community effort to find him. Everybody safe. Everybody good. Mere moments after the missing boy was found, he was reunited with family, then taken to the hospital to be checked out by doctors. The welcome news was the culmination of an eight-hour-long all-hands-on-deck search of the Weequake area of Newark. The six-year-old boy, who is diagnosed with autism, was last seen around 2 a.m. in the family's home on Elizabeth Avenue. By 5 a.m., the boy's mother realized he was missing. Dozens and dozens of police officers and firefighters from Newark and beyond flooded the area, combing through the neighborhood and the nearby Weequake Park. Police even blasted the baby shark song from this cruiser to try and lure the child to safety. Then around 1 p.m., finally, some good news. Witnesses say a FedEx driver noticed the boy sleeping in this car four blocks from home. Rudy Medina was there. And he find the kid inside the, the truck, so we call the police and the corner and the police come and break the windows. Glad he's okay. You know, we could replace these windows. That's not the... You know, but you can't replace the life. Through his shattered window, Rajan Yuri told us he must have left his car unlocked last night, and on a chilly, rainy morning, the little boy found shelter. You know, tell him where he would end up, ended up, you know. So I guess it's a blessing that the car was unlocked. After all that, the little boy was unharmed and back in the arms of loved ones. One local elected official told me the massive effort by first responders, residents, and even delivery drivers paid off, proving the strength of Newark when people come together for good. In Newark, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.